Hi everyone, my name is Gabriella and I'm going to briefly show you how to load an event grid. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that our account has the privileges that it needs to load an event grid. And we're really just looking for one and we check our privileges by going to our profile icon here and clicking into your profile and account. And on the window that opens, we're looking for something called Publicity Event Grid Admin. So I have these privileges, so I'm good to go. If you don't see these privileges, just reach out to the user administrator of your account and they can get you set up. But I'm already on that front. The other thing that I have to do before I load an event grid is to make a catalog or collection that has all the titles that I want included on the tour. And I went ahead and did that in advance so we could jump right in. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, we begin loading an event grid by going to our administration window. So once again, I click on my profile icon and I go to administration. And now I'm going to Event Grids and Administer. Now we're making a new campaign. And on the screen that opens, I can set the name of the campaign, give it a description, and choose the campaign target. You know, if I were focusing on bloggers, that's how I'd set this, but I'll leave it as outlets. So we'll make the name and the description. The due date is the day that you want all the requests to be in. So I'm going to set it to Halloween. And now I begin to type in the name of the collection that I made that has all the titles I want included on this tour. So I'm ready to save. So here is my demo tour. And now we upload the information about this tour, including the publicist, the author, the hometowns of the author, um, and stuff like that. So the best way to do this is to have Edelweiss spit out an Excel template, and then we can fill in all the data and upload it. That way we know that our Excel spreadsheet won't fail when we upload it. Um, so to get this template, we're going to click Upload and click here to export current event grid in Excel. So I'm doing that right now. And let me pull this in so you can see it. Okay. So what we have here is a spreadsheet with all the ISBNs of the books that were in our collection. And it's up to us to fill in the author information, the publicist's information, information about hometown, the tour location, any comments. I did this in advance so you wouldn't have to wait for me. So you could just pretend that I did this, but we're ready to go. So I'm gonna click browse and here's my event grid tour information. And I'll click save. And it's successful because I did this in the Excel template from Edelweiss. So I know that I was uploading everything with the correct specifications. And I do want to note that this was an XLS document. This is the file type that your spreadsheet has to be saved in, oops, saved in for it to work. Um, but that worked. So now we're going to go back to our home page and click on event grids. And this is the tour. Um, and you'll see that there's some event grid options, which is, you know, grids that are shared, grids that are archived, and grids that are not shared with accounts. Grids that are shared with accounts are those that are shared with your accounts. So your accounts can make requests. Archived events event grids are those that the requesting period is closed and that you've marked archived. Um, this is not shared with accounts because we've just made it and we haven't given anyone access to make requests. So if we click in, we'll see that 
all these titles now have this space that says tour information and it has the information that I uploaded on my Excel grid. My, I put myself as a publicist and gave some comments. Um, and if we scroll, we'll see that, you know, some of these were incomplete. I didn't have any comments at the moment, but now I want to add one. I can click on, did that a little fast, so I'll show you again. I can click on this edit icon and add a comment. And save it. So I just saved it. And here, you know, I didn't know their hometown originally, but now I do. So I'll add that in. And when everything looks as it should, I'm happy with the event grid, I'll go back to the admin window. And now I'll give access to this. So I would click here to share this event grid with approved outlets. So that's anyone that I have given access to event grids for or my reps have. And I can control that right from the administration window by clicking into, I scrolled, I did that also fast, like scrolling to the top and clicking manage account access. And all my contacts would be here and I can choose to turn on access right here. So these people don't have access, but if I wanted to give them access, I would click yes and close. So that's about it. If you have any questions about this, you can reach out to support at above the and we would love to help you get your event grids loaded. Thanks.